Hello everyone, my name is Shannon and I am a communications and e-commerce specialist and today I am going to show you how to add pictures and make customizations to your Square website. Alright, so starting out you should be in your dashboard and what you're going to do is you are going to go over to the side and you're going to hit online. Online is going to take you to your website. It is basically the portal for all things site related and once you get in there you can make whatever changes you'd like. So. As you can see, we're here. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be using my personal business website, which is shannonblathmore.square.site. All right, so once you're in your personal uh, online store dashboard, what you're gonna do, if you wanna make edits to that site, is you're gonna go over here, right to this square where it says edit site. If you're not seeing this, what you can do is click on a website. It's a drop down bar. You go to edit site right here. It'll take you to the exact same editor. Once you're in that editor, you can make any customizations to your site that Square will allow you to. So as you can see up here, I have my logo, my header, all of this stuff. I have a banner that goes across with a booking link here for booking a consultation, which I have linked for that. We'll go over that later. You scroll down. I offer my services here, basically just stock images that I pulled from Square's uh, inventory that I can use for my site and a mission statement with a photo, portrait of myself, with a little bit of about me and a learn more, and now let's get connected. Anyway, so we'll start up at the top with the banner. So if you wanna make changes to your banner, the cool thing about Square is that essentially any changes that you wanna make can be made with the click of a button within this entirely. So say I wanna change the main banner. This is my banner image, and that is on. This is my banner headline, so the text that is on my banner, and this is the button pretty straightforward. So if I want to change the banner image, what I'll do is I'll click on banner image. I will click on these three dots. I can replace, set image subject, or delete. Say you wanted to replace this image, you go replace. You can choose whichever images here you'd like, select the image, hit save. If the image is not showing, you can drag and drop files here. You can also go to your logos and any free photos um, that are available. You can search here through the free database and there are just tons of images and always hit save. If you find that your image can't really be, uh, like if, you're, if your text over your image can't really be seen, you can s play around with this improve readability tab, tab. What this does is it just adds darkness and adds lightness to the photo to make it easier to read um, your text to read. So basically that's that. So say I want to change this headline right here. I can either click in this, t in this window or I can go to banner headline, which is over here. To change the text, there is no text box over here. The text box is all right up on the site page. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you can just go right here and remove. So I want to write the word support. So I just write that there. You can play around with the font sizes, different headline sizes, you can play around with the um, but the fonts, you can change the color, and you can change the italici italicization and all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty cool. The next thing, if you want to change the button, you go here. What this essentially is, is a portal that can link to any page, um, any booking part, any product page that you have within your site. And I have it currently linked to my appointments. So basically the link is over here, like how you link it. So you'll go to these three dots right here when you hover over. You can delete it here if you'd like, or you can edit. So say you wanna change the page. I can link to a variety of things. So for me, for the purpose of this video, I want to link to appointments, so I click appointments. Um, if you wanted to link to an item page for sailing, um, selling your items, you do that here. And you just click down, go to appointments for me. And my location is Shannon Blackmore Digital Freelancing Services. So I'd like that to open on the same page so it doesn't open to a new link. We go here, we hit save. So that's your header, that's pretty much basic. So the next thing that we're gonna go over is how to change images. So if you want to change images on your website, again, you can just click right here. So say I wanna change this image, I'm not happy with it. This is the content for that, it is image and text. 
So what I want to do is I want to go down to content, I want to look at the images, and I want to edit them. And once I have that edited again, you can hit this, replace, and then you go into your database of images and you can figure it out that way. Alrighty, and then you can change the style so you can crop it, you can make it into a square, a rectangle, a square, and a circle, of course. So I, I prefer the circle for this. Then you can have your, your title. So this is the text that you want here. If you don't want any big text, you know what, no big deal. Just flick this off. This is the base text. Again, go here. All text is edited in the Square website right here, which is awesome. And then you can have a button here if you like. Um, some people, if they have their products here, if they list different services and different booking icons and whatnot, they will have the button available down here. I just don't want the button. So for the sake of my website, I don't have the button on. So that's to change that image. It's pretty much straightforward. Any image that you want to change on Square, it's the exact same thing. Same thing here. If I wanted to change this image or change this text, what I would do, click in, content, drop down, title, call out. The call out is just like the big title or what you want the takeaway to be for your audience. Here's your text, here's your button, and here's your image. So again, go to your image. You change this you can also link it so if somebody clicks on the image of you or on the image of your product that it takes them right to that page um, for the sake of my site I don't have that but it is also an option so yeah uh, this was essentially just how to do some modifications and some design elements for the header of your website and for adding images into square I hope this helped um, if you have any questions please please list them down below I would be happy to assist and yeah I hope this helped have a great day